my biggest fear is that um, we're gonna we're gonna lose more people and we're gonna lose them faster. All businesses of any type are allowed to open 100%. Also, I am ending the statewide mask mandate. Getting rid of masks just seems ignorant to me. Put it in very stark terms, it makes no sense. Uh, this is going to explode community spread and right in the midst of these uh, variants that are coming, it is a wrong decision and it's dangerous. million cases uh, in Texas. We've been on the hot spot, second, first, second, or third nationally as it relates to both hospitalizations and death. But when all of a sudden we act like it's over with, when all the science tells us the opposite, it's basically like you're saying, you get infected, you die, it's the way it goes. We gotta open up. We are not there yet. We are simply not, we are not there yet. You know, wearing a face mask in public closed space, the most effective thing you can do to stop the spread of the virus absent the vaccine. It's hard to find a medical professional that will tell you anything else. We should be guided by the science and the data. And this decision today is, uh, it just puts everything we have worked so hard to get at risk. My biggest fear is that um, we're, gonna, we're gonna lose more people and we're gonna lose them faster because this variant is a lot stronger. If you are under 65 and an essential worker, uh, you're about to be put into the position where you, you don't qualify for the vaccine, you can't protect yourself, and now you're going to be this frontline worker uh, around people potentially that don't wear masks. I can only hope that our community recognizes we still have a choice. Regardless of what the governor did, we can still choose in our city to, to act like we do have a mask mandate, for people to continue to wear it, for businesses to continue to require it, uh, and that's what we're gonna have to do. We're still masking up. Um, we're still taking all the precautions because we still have COVID patients. It's not like the COVID patients are gone. It's not like they're not dying, it's just that we no longer need a refrigerated truck outside is the deal. You know, our morgues have finally let up just a little bit so we can, you know, actually take care of these patients after they die and allow them to be buried properly. Um, we don't have people in the hallways anymore on stretchers. You know, we're not putting dead bodies in empty rooms at this point. Um, so we're breathing just a little bit easier, but it, it doesn't really, it's not better.